we're kicking it in the kitchen today and we are going to make some fantastic refried beans. I made beans a couple of days ago, pinto beans to be exact, and they came out fantastic. But what do you do when you have leftover beans? You don't want beans just as they are. They don't go with any meals. You just want something to snack on. I make refried beans and just heat them up and put them in a tortilla with some cheese and you're good to go for a snack. They're amazing, they're really good, and it's quick and easy. And you can actually make this recipe with a can of beans if you don't know how to make pinto beans, um, which I'll do a video on that too, probably in the next couple of days, because I make beans all the time. <laughs> so my recipe is really, really simple, and it's super delicious, so I hope you stay tuned. All right, so I have my beans that I made the other day. Look at how delicious they look. The only thing that I put in my beans was jalapenos, onions, a uh, tomato bouillon, some chicken bouillon, and uh, water, <laughs> basically, and just let them boil for a couple of hours until they were nice and tender, and that's how they came out. They're so good. So what we're going to do is we are going to put a tablespoon of bacon fat. Yes, bacon fat. I love bacon and bacon fat is quintessential for amazing refried beans. So says I. <laughs> so you're going to need your beans. You can use a can of beans if you want to, but I suggest that you rinse your beans. You drain and rinse your beans and then just follow the rest of the recipe that I have for you here. You're going to need a uh, four ounce can of tomato sauce, some salt for taste, some cornstarch, and that's it. So let's get started. Okay guys, so as usual, I have my cast iron pan and it's smoking right now. So it's plenty hot and I've got my bacon fat in there already. So what you're going to do with your fresh homemade beans or your can of beans that you've already rinsed, you drained and rinsed them, put your beans into the bacon grease. You want them to sear up really quick, okay? So just add everything in. A little juice is fine. We're gonna use more juice anyway, so it doesn't matter. Okay, so my beans have been cooking for just a little bit. Just trying to get the juices all in the in the beans themselves and you can add whatever ingredients that you like sometimes i actually make my pinto beans with carrots sliced up really really tiny small so that way they kind of disintegrate and celery uh, i put a sprig of thyme a sprig of uh, rosemary just for flavoring in the water and then i take it out after they've seeped for maybe about 10 15 minutes just to flavor the water some more but um Right now, I'm going to add one teaspoon of cornstarch because you want that little bit of juice that's in there now to get soaked up by that cornstarch. And then you can start your, your smashing process. So if you're using canned beans, I would suggest one chicken bouillon cube and then just add water um, as you go to get that little bit of a roux here. So when you start smashing, it all gets incorporated together. So I'm gonna go ahead and start smashing right now. And you just wanna get as much as you can. This is hard to do one-handed. I need a camera stand. <laughs> you want to turn your heat down to medium, medium low, medium low, medium. <laughs> that way they don't burn because once you put that cornstarch in, they dry up real quick. So you have to just keep incorporating your ingredients so they come out good. See how they're they're thickening up like that. So what you want to do here is add a little bit of your 
your chicken broth or more of your bean broth that you used and that you have left over from the beans that you made. Okay, I added a little bit more of my bean broth that I had left over from the bowl that you saw a minute ago. And just keep incorporating until your refried beans come out to the consistency that you prefer. They don't have to be perfect. So I know every time I go somewhere, everybody's refried beans are different. Okay, now here comes the tomato sauce. You don't need to use the whole can. Just enough to give it a little extra flavor and color. I'm going to add a little bit more of my bean broth. Yum. Smells delicious already. Beans are super, super easy to make, y'all. It's not hard. I need a new smasher. I need one of the, the old-timey smashers. Because this one's... The holes are too big, but... I mean, I make do, obviously, but... <laughs> it's just easier with the ones that's got the little holes... This is more of a more accurate potato smasher. I like the bean smasher. Mm. Okay. See how easy that is? It didn't take but five minutes to do that. So if ever you have leftover refried beans, this is all, or leftover beans, and you want to make refried beans, this is all you have to do. And just make sure that you cook down that cornstarch so it's not gritty and you don't really taste it. Not that cornstarch really has a flavor, but um, you'll definitely be able to taste it. So, and my beans already had seasoning in them, so that's why I'm not adding any more to it. But I do have salt just in case I need to add a little bit more because I put the cornstarch in there um, it might need an additional little sprig of salt but all that seasoning from the broth is plenty 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 that's about how I like my beans they are so delicious all right let's give it a taste Mmm. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right. That's it. They're done. Leave it on low. Let the cornstarch uh, cook through, like I said, and you are good to go. You can add cheese to this and make them cheesy refried beans, which is amazing and so gooey and delicious. But that's it. No muss, no fuss, easy peasy. Anybody can do it. So if you have canned beans, just follow the directions. Make sure you drain and rinse and use chicken broth. And that's it. A little tomato sauce, some bacon fat, and your seasonings to taste. And you're good to go. Now I'll show you how to plate it. Hey guys, it is time to taste. Look at that. And you can add anything you want to your beans. I put on some queso quesadilla cheese. It's really melty cheesy. Sorry, my head's cut off. And I added a little bit of cilantro and also uh, my favorite green salsa verde. And I'm gonna add just a little sprig of lime juice, just like that. So delicious. I'm gonna roll it up. Oh my goodness. Look at that. That's amazing. Mm hmm. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, so good. You can taste. You can taste the lime. You can taste the cilantro. 
you can taste <clears throat> the bacon fat, which is a huge plus. It just brings out a total different dimension of the beans. And because I used my broth that I cooked the beans in, I get that kick of jalapeno in there. You can omit jalapenos if you don't like spicy guys, okay? <laughs> That's just the way that I do it. So when I post my video, um, you can omit whatever you want to. But this is so good. And it's so ooey gooey. And it is falling out of my burrito right now. But I'm going to keep eating. This is my lunch, my late lunch. And look at that. <laughs> it is so good. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Well, you gotta try it. Super easy, super delicious, super fast. We already have it on hand. It won't take you but a couple minutes to whip it up and you have a snack. Or you can just make bean burritos for dinner. It's pretty easy. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you get updates on future videos. Thanks.